much. Our uh, next keynote speaker uh, is uh, Daichi Iwata, who serves as the head of the FinTech Business Development Office at NEC Corporation. And uh, he also uh, is leading the uh, hyperledger effort at NEC. And today, uh, he will be speaking about blockchain security and why it is important. So, welcome, Iwata-san. by design distributed computing network, it allows us to do 
to offer the service not owned only by the central authority or one party. It allows us to offer the service owned by multi-stakeholders or partly by nobody in the budget. But the consensus protocol allows us to make an agreement and the midpoint prevents double spending and it agrees on the you know, uh, history of the transactions. And in general, consensus makes an agreement of the authenticity and verifies the order and the, uh, agree on the order of transactions. So it is really uh, interesting a protocol to uh, uh, look at. So today I want to focus on how uh, interesting part of the consensus protocol evolutions. So when you want to design the good consensus protocol, it's a very simple thing, but you have to be aware of two modes of failures. Uh, one is crash failures. So when a uh, certain number of computer nodes participating in the consensus start to uh, stop responding, you fail the consensus. So the, uh, to tolerate concern, uh, crash failure, you have to reboot the computer nodes that failed, or you have to you know, have the backup system to you know, uh, pull the nodes. So that's the crash failure. It's more like traditional failures. But more hard to draw it, and we think it's more important, is what's called the Byzantine failure. So the consensus fails, not because only the computer stops responding, but the nodes keeps responding but start making a line. And the consensus fails. And I think this is more important because if, when everything is connected, some people start making some malicious you know, uh, behavior and start making a line. In, in the case of the coins, you, you start maybe claiming you have more money than you really have. They, the computer needs to verify if that is something you need to agree on about the past computing nodes. It's not audited by human being. It's not you know, monitored by human brain or something. It's the agreement done by computers. <coughs> if more transactions are done through the IoT devices, more in automatic queries, there is a limitation for human beings to keep auditing this process. So agreeing on among the computing nodes, just detecting who are lying is a very exciting technology. <coughs> but because this is a complex issues, the practical use of Byzantine failure trial and protocol has just come into the practice for last you know, few years ago. So one of the famous one is of course uh, the proof of work running for the you know, uh, application like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And the other one is called PBFD that has been proposed for the one of the projects of the hyperages. And the other one is like something like OIP, like the Brian said, for proposed for the hyperledger uh, focus like uh, program. So there are lots of uh, protocol has been proposed and start evolving. So I think Byzantine the trial and protocol is a really interesting thing to look at. And I think it will be a very critical uh, technology for uh, ensuring the trust among the connected industries. And because of the uh, PBFT or the values of PBFT has been proposed and the key evolving, so I want to focus on the, uh, the history of the PBFT a little bit. So PBFT was proposed in 1999, just uh, probably before the beginning of the Bitcoin. And, uh, it assumes that you have to know the participate, uh, participating nodes beforehand. So it's not like, unlike the Bitcoin, you have to know who are the participating nodes. But uh, that's the uh, assumption of BPFT. But because it also assumes that each node doesn't trust each other, uh, you have to you know, check each other to make an agreement. So communication uh, rounds of this BPFT are really complex. So it has some limitations about scalability and performance and throughput. So people started looking for more efficient PFT. So uh, things like main